hey guys in today's tutorial we'll be changing the origin of a mesh and by this you can fix your wheels rotation or even use it as an amazing game mechanics let's get started inside a new scene i'll start by adding a cube and in this cube i'll add a script origin of the mesh let's open it in visual studios so the first thing we need is mesh of a is the mesh of a game object and the mesh is stored inside the mesh filter so let's give reference to our mesh filter and our mesh will be mesh filter dot mesh now we want to change the position of our vertices so let's make a vector 3 an array of vector 3 I'll name it words and these words will be mesh dot vertices. Let's make a public vector three. This will be this will be the offset that we'll be adding to our vertices or the offset of our origin. So I'll just name it origin offset. Alright, now inside update, let's make a for loop that will iterate through all the vertices. So just do words.length to iterate, iterate through all the vertices. Now words i plus equal to origin offset. And in update, we'll make this origin offset value equal origin offset value to vector 3.0. So we don't keep adding the offset again and again. Now let's just say me our mesh dot vertices equal to words. And that's all we need to do. So I got my cube over here. I'll add one to our y axis. You'll see our cube moved. Same way I'll add one to our x axis as well. And you can see let's also recalculate our collider so I added a mesh collider to our cube let's give reference to it let's now let's just do mesh collider dot shared mesh equal to mesh now you'll see our collider should and yes our collider is moving i'll just switch off the renderer so you guys can see all right so it's working now in update let's just use an if statement to only change the vertices if the if our origin offset is not equal to vector 3.0 okay that's good so everything's working fine but uh, let's let's say you want to change the change the origin in edit mode permanently so all you need to do is execute this in edit mode now I'll go back and you'll see our origin is getting changed if you want to move it back to its actual position let's just do minus 1 and minus 1 in X and Y actually let's let's reset this and you should see that it's working fine to do this to your blender 3d model or any 3d model you will first have to enable read and write data and only then drag it to your hierarchy 